Hi guys. So I wanted to come on here today and show you a haul. It's been kind of a collective haul from like the end of last month slash the beginning of this month. Um, I didn't want to wait till the end of the month to do it because I'm getting like qu not quite a few things, but I'm getting enough stuff here and I'm using them in my tutorials. So instead of like using them for like a whole month and then showing you them, I thought I would just like get it over with now. Not get it over with, but you know what I mean. So I'm just going to, plus a couple things I ordered in the mail um, came in today. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, the first thing I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll start with the, the lipsticks that I got um, a few weeks back. Um, I've already taken them out of the packaging because I've already used them. I can't wait to use my stuff, so. <laughs> um, the first thing I'll show you, I had the packaging still. For some reason I just like to keep the packaging of the makeup that I buy. Um, I know that might be weird, but it's like kind of like a weird thing that I do. So the first thing that I bought was this Too Faced um, lipstick. It was one of the new ones that just came out. So that's the packaging there. And the lipstick itself is right here in this packaging here. It's gold, and it has um, the Too Faced logo on it. I think it's a pretty packaging. It's gold. And I got the shade in Juicy Melon. And it's a very pretty peachy pinky coral. That's the shade there. I hope the camera once again picks it up like somewhat true to life. That's the shade there. And I will swatch it on the back of my hand for you. It goes on incredibly smooth. It has no smell to it, which I guess is good for people who are um, have a um, sensitivity to um, smells that you put on your lips. Anyways, that's the swatch of it right there. Um, in my viewfinder here, it's coming up kind of orangey. In real life, it's more of um, of a pinky coral with like a bit of like, it's warm toned, but it's very, it goes on your lips, like in the tube it looks um, matte, it looks like it would be a matte color, but once you put it on your lips, like the shine, it's incredibly like, not like shiny like a lip gloss, but it has a, it has a decent shine to it. On your lips it feels very good, it feels very moisturizing, um, if I end up buying more I will do um, a little review on them for you because, um, for a lipstick that you buy at Sephora, it's only, well, I paid $20, $21, I don't quite remember how much I paid for it, but um, for a lipstick, like, high-end, in my opinion, that's kind of affordable. Um, some people may disagree with me, but, um, yeah, I think they have, like, great colors. They have a couple, couple more nudes that I want to pick up, um, but, yeah, overall, I'm really impressed with that lipstick. So that's the first lipstick I got. The next one is my very first NARS product. I haven't bought anything from NARS before. And I got the color, I got the lipstick in the shade Barbarella. There's the packaging. And I think the NARS packaging is really sleek and nice and... Alright, sorry, I had to leave for a second and I'm back now. Um, anyway, so I was talking about the NARS lipstick. So this is the packaging of it. I think the packaging is really cute and really like sleek looking. It has the NARS um, in like um, lettering at the top of the cap. And this is the shade Barbarella. Um, I did show this in one of my last videos. It is a nice peachy color. On camera this shows up extremely orange. It is not. It's more of um, a nude peach. This is the color right here. The camera does not, this camera, my new camera, does not pick up colors as true to color as my camcorder before. I'm really disappointed about that, but that's the shade there, and the swatch on my hand is right there. Um, if you're ever in Sephora, take a look at this color, because it's really gorgeous. It's a nice, light, nude peach. It goes on kind of sheer, which is um, nice for those of us who can't wear, like, big, bold, orange colors, or... Um, have a hard time pulling off like the warmer peachy shades, um, but this color, um, nice. 
if you really like build it up, you can see more of a color. Um, the wearability of it is, um, it's not like a long lasting lipstick, but on me it lasts a decent amount of time. I mean, I don't really like lick my lips or like press them together a lot or like, well if I'm drinking coffee it, it rubs off faster, but this is not a review on that lipstick, I will continue on to the next product. See, getting sidetracked again. Anyways, so while I was looking at the NARS lipsticks, I fell in love with this Velvet Matte Lip Crayon. Here's the packaging in case you cared about that. Um, yeah, so there's the packaging. And here is the color. It's in the shade Bor, 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 Bolero. I will show you this in case you can't understand how I'm saying it. If my camera will focus, Bolero. And it is a nice light pink cantaloupe color. It may or may not show off, show up very good on camera. I know my my pink lipsticks don't really show up true to color on camera, but that's the color there, and it goes on very nice. Um, it doesn't go on dry looking like some matte lipsticks do. At least on my lips, it doesn't. Um, it's just a really, oh, it's just gorgeous pink color. There it is there. And I can't even tell if it's focusing or not, because in my viewfinder it looks like fluorescent pretty much. But that's the color. It really reminds me a lot of um, the Shore Leave Lip Pencil from Max um, Hey Sailor collection. That's pretty much why I got it, because I was in love with this lip pencil, and I was scared to use it because I didn't want to run out of it. But as soon as I saw this color, it like immediately reminded me of that. So I purchased it based on that. And then when I got home and swatched them, they're pretty much like the identical color. Um, the actual, the NARS one goes on a lot more smoother than the uh, MAC lip pencil does. But if you can see here, I swatched the MAC lipstick right there, and the NARS lipstick right there. Sorry, the MAC lip pencil, and then the NARS lip, lip pencil. So there's the swatches of them. So you can't really tell too much of a difference. They're like pretty much like... The exact color, exact same color, which is awesome. And the next product while I was at Sephora that I saw, I was eyeing this for a while. It's the Laura Mercier Shimmer Block. There's the packaging, nothing special. And here it is here. I have shown this in a few of my hauls because I was using it. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite highlighter. I do enjoy it. But my favorite is definitely the um, Lorac and the Mary Luminizer. Although this is nice, I kind of want to experiment with it and use some of them like as an eyeshadow or like highlighter colors because I think they'd be really pretty for that. But there is the shimmer block there. It's got like um, a rose gold, a, like um, rose gold, like a bronzy beige, and then this one's um, a lighter gold, and then this one's more like a silver white. I will swatch the colors individually for you. So if you can see this, there's the swatches of them. And then once they're all swatched together, they actually do make quite a nice highlight. It's not as smooth and finely milled as um, the Lorac one, but it's still pretty. So there's the swatch of it all mixed together right there. It is a nice highlighter nonetheless. I'm just not used to. Actually, it is pretty smooth. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. It's one of those days where my brain's just like off in no man's land. Alright, next is a drugstore product. I purchased this at Walmart because it's cheaper there than anywhere else. And I heard a few of the um, YouTuber people um, talking about this. And because it's so cheap, I decided to try it out because it was only like four bucks, so it's not like it's a big loss if I didn't like it. Um, it's sorry, it's the Rimmel blush in the shade Santa Rose. Now I'm not gonna lie, I seen this blush before and I didn't buy it because I didn't know like how it would look on me. In the pan, it doesn't look like anything special at all. I saw it on. And Guerrero, I think that's how you say her name, I'll put it in the bottom. Um, but I saw it on her, in one of her videos she wore it, and on her cheeks it looked really nice, so I thought I would give it a shot. 
there's the swatch of it. It's kind of like a light, um, I will swatch it on the other hand because this hand is full of shimmer. See, it's not going to show up a lot on camera, but that's it, like, in that area there. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, um, on my cheeks, I kind of have to layer it, I have to layer like a pink or blush over top of it if I really want it to like show up, but it's not a bad color for like four bucks. I would recommend it. Alright, next I will show you the last four-ish items. Um, I did order a new L'Oreal Infallible because I'm on a mission to collect all the ones that I like. I went on the L'Oreal website and like the ones that are available in Canada and the ones that are available in the US are like completely two different colors. Like they have like a lot of colors I don't have. So I'm slowly starting to collect the ones that I've um, fell in love with. Um, so this one is the shade Smoldering Plum. I saw this on Ms. O'Donnelly's channel, if that's how you say it. I will put her name at the bottom of the screen here. But Smoldering Plum. And I love deep dark purples, so I had to have it. That's the color there. Focus. So that's the shade there. And that's the swatch right next to it. So as you can see, really dark, nice, rich color. I haven't used this one yet, but I cannot wait to. Like, look how pigmented that is. I'm sorry if it doesn't come up as good on camera, but in real life, it's like beautiful. The next one I want to order is um, something emerald. I don't remember the name of it, but anyways. Um, so the next product, the next three things actually, I did buy off of a, um, a blog sale. I will put her name down here because I don't want to botch the name because I'm not too sure how to say it. I really want to butcher YouTubers. YouTube Guru's names, but um, I brought this, bought this brush from her. Um, I don't really have easy access to Sigma brushes here in Canada, so I, any chance I get to get like a good deal on them, I get. But I did get this Sigma F30 brush. Um, I wanted to try a few Sigma brushes out, so I got that brush, and it looks like this. I was in the market for a new blush brush anyways, because the blush brush I currently use is like... 10 years old. It's a cheaper brush, but it still works, but I kind of want to like try new ones. This one um, is a lot um, more dense than my other one that I have, but it feels nice and soft. I'm just going to wash it up and use it. Um, the next thing I got was this Smashbox Red Carpet Radiance Palette from Smashbox. I just said that. So there it is right there. And I really like my blush, so couldn't pass up this deal. I think I paid $15 for it, if I'm not mistaken. And I cannot wait to use this. The colors look gorgeous. I've already swatched. Here are the colors here. Let's see if my camera will focus at this awkward angle. There are the colors right there. You have a shimmer. There you go, the lid, the top came off. That's kind of convenient. So there's the shimmer right here. I think that's nice and pigmented. Um, the next blush we have is right here. There's two shimmer and two matte. There's one of the... I'm not liking how long this takes to focus. Anyways. I'll just swatch a couple more for you, just so you get the idea of them. So I did two swatches on my hand there. Um, they're very pigmented, very nice. I cannot wait to use them. They're gorgeous. There we go. As you can see, my veins there, but that's one color, and that's another color. So it looks like a great little palette there. I was really excited to get that in the mail. It actually came in a lot sooner than I had anticipated. I was expecting, you know, maybe next week, the week after that. New. No this week and I ordered it last week so that's impressive for shipping from the US and the next palette I have been eyeing this ever since it was advertised and came out it's the Sigma Paris palette um I think it's really cool how um some of the beauty group 
contributors um, contributed to this and like kind of like made it up. I thought that was really cool, but I'm like impressed with this palette. It does come with two brushes. It comes with the eye shading E55. Looks like this. And again, more brushes to try. And there's this one here. It's the Sigma F40. This is like the softest like contour brush I've ever felt. I'm really excited to use this. And then here's the palette right here. I'm pretty sure you've all seen swatches of this, but there it is. The only eyeshadow that I didn't think was as pigmented as it looked like in the pan. Like it comes off like this. This is the shade. I don't even want to try and say it because I don't even freaking know. Oh, I can't see. <gasps> Awkward. There's so much glare right now. But it doesn't really, um, like on camera it looks like a decent swatch. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of that color. But like, and the whole palette is only one color I don't like. It's pretty good if you ask me. But the rest of the colors are like really pigmented. Like look at that. <laughs> Here, let me just swatch them real quick for you. Okay, so if you can see these, wow. Alright, let me see if I can do this here. If you can see these, there's the swatches of them. Like, they look pretty decent. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm adding like a really, I swatched them on my arm because I'm running out of room on the back of my hands. And it looks pretty awkward. I can't even show you them, I'm sorry. What a bad uh, little review there. Anyway, then these blushes also look great. I will swatch this right there just so you can see. That's it right there. And it finally focuses. So like extremely excited to use those. Like that blue matte color is like super, super, super pigmented. That one right there. Oh, I wish you could see this. Alright, so I just tried to show you the swatches. Hopefully it worked out. Anyways, that's it for my haul. I'm sorry it was 15 minutes long. I forgot to show you, sorry, excuse me. I forgot to show you one thing. It's my new Avon um, eyeliner. It's the uh, Super Extend and it's in the shade black. Um, I remember I did say in one of my videos that I didn't like the Maybelline Master Drama anymore because the tip was too, like, wiggly and I couldn't get a good wing. So I did get this. It was only, like, $6 from Avon. And it goes on really smooth. I'm liking how black it is. It stays on all day long. That's the swatch of it right there. So, yeah, I'm liking that. And... That's it for the uh, haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And, yeah, that's it. Hope that's it. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long for you. I hope I didn't bore you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.